AI in the heating and air industry. In this video, I want to talk about the artificial intelligence, some of the things that we're seeing coming out and how it's going to affect the heating and air industry in the short term, the long term, and if you stick around to the end of this video, how it's going to affect you personally as you navigate buying a heating and air system in the future. How is AI going to affect you personally. So stick around for that. Let's dive into this and talk about the elephant in the room and that is jobs. Will AI replace jobs in the heating and air industry in the short term when you're talking about a robot coming to your house and fixing your air conditioner? Is that going to happen anytime soon? And I think the obvious answer in the short term is no. That's a long way away if that ever happens. But I do think there are some things that it's going to replace, make better here in the short term and whether you know it or not, it's all already being done. A quick Google search can show you that. With recent websites coming out like ChatGPT and some of the other websites we see popping up with artificial intelligence, giving you the ability to write articles better, or I see some people even use it to make YouTube videos. You see these robotic looking models. Good evening, Safia. It's great to see you again, Hal. I haven't seen you in a while. I've been around. And of course, you know that I'm not one of those because I look like this, right? But you see AI being used for all kinds of things when it comes to the software side of things, when it comes to content being produced, being able to compile information and so on. I do think there is a time and place where you might see articles that you're reading while you're doing your research, maybe videos being made, and just ultimately AI being able to produce some of the stuff that you are consuming. But aside from all of that, how is it affecting you, your system in your house? I think in the short term, you may see systems in the very near future where AI is optimizing systems, making them more efficient. I'm going to touch on that a little more here in a bit, but I also think that you're going to see a side of it that maybe the homeowner cares less about and maybe the technician cares more about. And that is things like errors being reported when the system is not operating like it should, maybe better diagnosing of systems. So we see all the time things being misdiagnosed, heating and air professionals saying, hey, this is bad on your heating and air system and they're completely misdiagnosing the system. I could see AI helping with some of that. We already have systems that report errors, especially these real complicated communicating systems having the ability to have an error pop up on the thermostat and say, hey, something's wrong here. But a lot of that has to do with sensors or some sort of switches in that system. Something's not operating like it should. Something's gotten too hot or too cold. Maybe the airflow is not hitting that sensor like it should. Something is telling that thermostat, hey, something's off here, here's an error. But AI might go one step further than that and say, here's an error, here's what I'm seeing, here might be some fixes. And getting back to the capabilities that we're seeing right now with content creation and the way that these websites are being able to produce AI-generated articles and compiling of information, I could see in the very near future technicians using artificial intelligence to repair things when they need to pull up a manual or need customer support, some sort of technical support. I could see that actually getting better. I have made phone calls to tech support for certain brands and I say, hey, here's what I'm seeing and what do I need to do here? Are you, it's under warranty, so I need your blessing and so on. And no offense to some of those guys, but a lot of times the information that they're giving me is incorrect. I'll even say to them, hey, what you're saying, I don't think that's the problem. I think that board is doing what it's doing because this over here is happening. And some of that might be just a training thing. Some of these guys get into tech support and they're helping someone over the phone, but maybe they they don't have a lot of actual real world heating and air experience. Now this isn't a knock on those guys. A lot of them are really good at what they do, but if AI is helping with some of that, so for example, if I was talking to some sort of artificial intelligence and saying, hey, here's what I'm seeing, and the artificial intelligence says, well, I need you to test this and this, and I do that, and then the AI is saying, hey, I do think that board is bad, or hey, you're right, the board's fine, but the sensor over here is bad. Maybe even a little bit better than a human on the other end of that phone. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay. I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> the big appeal for artificial intelligence is its capability of learning, right? So as you continue to use it and it continues to compile information, 
I could see an opportunity there where some sort of AI product tech support is being able to help technicians even better than the current tech support we have. But another big thing we're seeing today is more and more of these brands are coming out with products that they can dial into it. or remotely connect to the heating and air system in someone's home, call it the cloud, call it Wi-Fi connecting or whatever you want to call it. But a lot of these companies are being able to remotely cloud connect to these systems in someone's home. And so I could definitely see artificial intelligence being able to connect to that, being able to figure out what is wrong before a technician ever lays hands on that system. Not only do I think that's possible, I think it's sooner than you think. I definitely see that coming. Things are being put into place already for that to take place. Somebody will probably see this video years from now and go, duh. <laughs> Josh thought he was saying something profound. Of course that was going to happen. But lastly, when it comes to the actual heating and air system in your home, I touched on it a second ago, I think that AI is going to help that system better optimize the operation of that system. And here's what I mean, hear me out. I could see a day where artificial intelligence not only makes that system run as efficient as possible, but what do heating and air systems do today, right? They just heat and cool your home. And they do other things like maybe remove or add humidity. I could see AI technology being able to say it's a little more humid today so I need a little more cooling or I need to remove that humidity so that way they have optimum comfort, right? Because the higher the humidity, the warmer you feel and vice versa, the lower that humidity, the cooler or drier you might feel. It's not just the temperature in your home, higher temperature, warmer, lower temperature, cooler. And I could see an AI generated system figuring out what exactly they need to dial that into for optimum comfort for people in that home, which is kind of mind blowing if you think about it. Again, we already have systems with communicating technology and outdoor unit being able to say to the indoor unit or thermostat, it's not that hot out today. We don't need to run full bore. We just need to ramp up a little bit, run at a lower capacity, cool that home down, and we don't need to draw a bunch of energy. But AI could add another layer to that, making systems run as efficiently as possible, but having better comfort. Again, I don't think that this is something that's like, completely mind-blowing. When people think of AI and they think of all the capabilities, all these movies and what they show. What have you been up to? Not much. Let's see. I traveled to over 25 countries, appeared on the cover of Cosmopolitan magazine. I addressed the United Nations and NATO, became the first robot to receive a credit card, and became the first robot citizen. What have you been up to? <laughs> <laughs> Not one-fifth of what you did, but... uh I think in the very near future, what's much more realistic is having systems being able to operate better and having homeowners feel better, having comfort, having a system that can tell you what's wrong, having a system that could run more efficiently and keep you as comfortable as possible. But finally, I said at the beginning of the video, if you stick around, I was gonna give you something that would affect you personally. And that is we see homeowners all the time. In fact, I have a whole website where I help homeowners with this exact topic and that is is when homeowners are buying a heating and air system, something they don't do every day and they're trying to do their homework and they're trying to do their research and compile information and there's so many websites and so many videos with people much more handsome than me and they're just trying to compile all this information and make a good decision before they buy their next heating and air system, I could definitely see AI being able to help you compile that information, decipher, discern what's good and bad, and help you make a good decision before you spend all that money. Now, I will say, I'm not gonna call out any websites or anything like that, but I've gone on a few of these artificial intelligence websites and I've typed things like, what's the best heating and air brand? What's the best heating and air system? How do you fix my heating and air system? And just different questions that I could see a homeowner maybe typing in to say, Google or another website, I was typing these in on these artificial intelligence platforms. And to be honest, 
I wasn't real impressed. There was a lot of vague information I was getting, but I don't think that's forever. I think that as time goes on and this technology gets better and better, I could definitely see a homeowner typing on a system, what's the best heating and air brand, and that artificial intelligence pulling in information from 30,000 different websites and different opinions and different technologies and being able to say to a homeowner, this is what we're seeing. You're not going to have to go to all those different websites and try to make a decision. This is what seems to make the most sense for me being able to compile all this information in a very short amount of time. So that's my take. I had someone actually request me to do a video on this a while back. I didn't jump right into it at first. I didn't want to be on the trend that everyone was doing. I wanted to actually see what this was all about, actually use one of these websites that's coming out with this technology and give you some information that I actually thought would be useful. But I'd love to hear what you think. What are your thoughts? Is artificial intelligence here to stay? Is it something that is going to make your life better or worse? Does it scare you at all? Please comment down below. I'd love to hear about that. I think there's different opinions on this, but I also do think there is some valid concerns. That said, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.